In this problem, we are trying to figure out what is the radius length of a sphere with a given surface area of 900 pi. To solve this problem, we are going to state the formula that would allow us to find the surface area of any sphere. The formula to find the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 times pi times the radius to the second power. Now that we have stated our equation, we are going to plug what is given from the problem into our equation. In this problem, the only information that is given is that the surface area is equal to 900 pi. Therefore, what we are going to do is take the SA portion of our equation and substitute that with 900 pi. So we know that 900 times pi is equal to 4 times pi times radius to the second power. Now that we have entered into our equation the information that is given, now we must isolate the variable that we are solving for. We must solve for r because we want to know what the radius length is. Because the r is on the right hand side of our equation, we are going to get rid of every value on the right hand side of the equation except for the r, so the r at the end of our answer is isolated. So we have to get rid of the 4, the pi, and the exponent of 2. We are going to start by dividing the right side of our equation by 4 pi. We must balance our equation by dividing 4 pi on the other side of our equation as well. So we have to take 900 pi and divide that by 4 pi to balance our equation. The 4 pi will be completely canceled out on the right hand side of our equation. And pi will cancel out on the left hand side of our equation. That leaves us with 900 divided by 4 is equal to the radius to the second power. 900 divided by 4 is 225. Now we have an equation that reads 225 is equal to radius to the second power. Now we have to figure out what is the value of r, so when we square that number or multiply it by itself, it would give us a product of 225. Well, to isolate our variable even further, we have to cancel out that exponent of 2. And the opposite of something to the second power is the square root of that number. By writing a radical sign over any value to the second power, they would cancel each other out. To balance our equation, we must also do the square root of whatever is on the other side of our equal sign as well. The square root of 225 is 15 and the exponent and the radical sign on the right hand side of our equal sign cancelled each other out. So now we have successfully isolated the variable r. So we now know that the radius of this sphere is equal to 15 centimeters.